imagine there is a hotel or resort there. And in that hotel or resort, total number of rooms available are 50. And in each room, uh, double occupancy is allowed. That means two persons can stay there in each room. So in all those 50 rooms in that hotel or resort, how many people can stay together? Answer would be 15 to 200. And now think that out of those 50 rooms in that hotel, only 15, one five are occupied. So if I, now I, I ask you that how many people are there in this hotel at present, answer would be 15 into two is equal to 30. But how many people can stay maximum possible? That is 15 to 200. So if you understand this, so now it's very simple to understand the concept of total iron binding capacity and serum iron. Serum iron is basically carried in the serum by with the help of a uh, carrier molecule that's known as transferrin. And each transferrin molecule can carry two iron molecules, usually Fe3 plus D. So and normally what happens that usually that 30% uh, of the transferrin is saturated. So let me draw it in the whiteboard to explain this and again, uh, explain the concept there. Just wait for a moment. So, I told you that imagine body, compare body with like a hotel which has 50 hotel rooms. Similarly, imagine that in that body, there are 50 transferring molecules are there. Like this. And in each transferring molecule, two iron molecules can be bound. So if there are total 50 transferring molecules or 50 transferring molecules are there, imagine in that body, in our body, so how many maximum iron molecules can be bound then? Answer is 15 to two is equal to 100. This 100 is basically the maximum number of iron that can be bound with the existing transparent molecule. And that is the equivalent to the concept of the total iron binding capacity, that means with the number of transferrin available in my body, how many maximum iron molecules can be bound with the transferrin? It's just like in that hotel concept, which I gave you that if I ask you that how many people, maximum number of people can stay in that hotel, the answer is 15 to 200. So the maximum guest holding capacity of that hotel is 100 because there are 50 rooms are there and each room two people can stay. So the maximum guest holding capacity is 15 to 200. Similarly, the total iron binding capacity is this, that with the number of transferrin available in my body, how many maximum uh, iron molecules can be bound? That is the idea. So it's normally this TIVC level, normally this TIVC level is around, you're reading 260 to 450 microgram per deciliter. Now look at another thing. I have now describe the concept of how this is connected with the serum iron and how this can connect with the transparent situation. It's very simple actually. So if I now uh, ask you that how many number of people is there at present in this hotel, answer would be 15 into 230 because 15 rooms are occupied by the, 50 rooms are occupied right now. So similarly, if I, Normally what happens in the people like you and me, in the normal people, 50 to 150 roughly microgram per deciliter of iron is there in our body. So I wrote in bold anyway. So if you think that, if you look at this, that this is the total serum iron in our body This one is the total serum iron. 
and on the top which I have written that is the TIBC. So if you notice this that this total serum iron is roughly 30% of this TIBC. That means in normal state what happens that the number of places where the transferrin can bound with iron, only 30% of spaces are occupied in a normal state. So that is, that's why if you do this ratio, that is serum iron by TIBC, you'd get transferrin saturation. And there is another uh, term there that's called UIBC, unsaturated iron binding capacity. Unsaturated iron binding capacity means that still how many irons can be bound with the transfer, that is the idea. So it's very simple. The UIBC is, is, would be equal to TIBC minus serum iron. Because UI is it's something like this that if I ask you that how many people more in that hotel can stay? So the answer will be 100 minus 30 is equal to 70. Because the total number of people which can stay in the hotel, total guest holding capacity in this hotel is 100 as I mentioned. And that is 100. And right now only 50 rooms are occupied. That means 15 to 30 people are staying in the hotel. So 100 minus 30 is equal to 70. So unsaturated iron binding capacity would be 70. So if I uh, means deduct the value of serum iron from the TIBC, you would get the value of the UIBC. And also I mentioned another term that is called transparent saturation. Transparent saturation means you can ask is that uh, out of the all the beds in the, the hotel, uh, how many beds are occupied actually by the guest? So answer would be the serum iron, total number of guests is right now 30 and total number of guests which they can stay is 100. So if I multiply this with 100, the value would be getting that is transparent saturation. That means total number of guests staying in the hotel right now is 30. Total number of guests that maximally can stay is 100 into 100. 30 into 100 into 30 divided by 100 into 100 multiplied by 100 is equal to 100%. So to the percent that is the transparent saturation. Transparent saturation means this transparent can maximum withhold this amount of iron. And out of this, only this percentage is saturated. So I'm again revising the concept which I told you right now, that at the beginning I told you that you can imagine the body with the hotel. This hotel has 50 hotel rooms and each hotel room they can have two guests. So now compare this hotel room with our body and imagine there are 50 transparent molecules are there in our body. And each molecule can hold can bind with two iron molecules because that is the natural principle. They usually bind with two iron molecules. So normal state, if I have 50 transparent molecule, the maximum iron which I can bound with is 100. It's just like that hotel analogy which I gave you. If I have 50 rooms and each room can occupy two guests. The maximum number of guests which I can stay there can stay in that hotel. It is the maximum guest holding capacity of the hotel is 100. And this is the TIBC, total iron binding capacity. Total iron binding capacity of what? Total iron binding capacity of transferrin. Usually we just write TIBC, but the full form is TIBC of the transferrin. What is the serum iron? Serum iron means the total amount of iron which is there in the serum right now, bind state. So that is just like the not total number of people is there in the present in the hotel. So 15 rooms, two people. So 15 into two, 30 people are there. That is that. And if I see, ask for what is transparent saturation. Transparent saturation is just like how many uh, hotel rooms are occupied right now. How many rooms are saturated, used up right now. So that is usually you are getting, you can get by 15 by 15 to 100. That is 60, uh, that is 30%. Or in the same state, you that means you are dividing basically the serum iron divided by TIBC. TIBC means maximum number of iron that can be bound with 100. You'll be getting the transparent saturation. And another term is that called UIBC, unsaturated iron binding capacity, which is nothing but TIBC minus serum iron. 
in other way if i again compare with that hotel analogy if i ask you that how many uh, hotel seats uh, hotel in that hotel how many people could be still uh, get into that hotel it means how many people can stay more in that hotel more number of people can stay in that hotel that is the idea of the unsaturated that means that means total number of people which can total guest holding capacity of the hotel is 100 right now staying is 30 so if i can did that 100 minus 30 is equal to 70. That is the idea of the UIPC, unsaturated iron body capacity. So you can get unsaturated iron body capacity just by deducting TIBC minus serometer. Now I will mention another key concept uh, that you many times will be saying that why the in iron deficiency anemia that TIBC is increased. The concept is very simple. The concept is this that in iron deficiency anemia, the total number of transparent molecules are increased. Body increases the transparent molecules because they're frustrated, their body is frustrated, they're not getting enough iron. So they're increasing the number of iron carrier molecules in case more number of iron can come and bound with them. So you can think in that compare, you can go back to that analogy that as the more number of, uh, as the guests are not coming in the hotel, the guest owner, the hotel owner thinks that let me refurbish uh, the hotel and he increases the total number of room in that hotel from 50 make it more 60. So in that case, what's happening that as more number of transparent molecules are available, so obviously they can bound with more number of iron molecules. And obviously that would result, that would result in increase in the total iron binding capacity, as simple as that. And, but the point that you need to understand that Transparent saturation would obviously decrease in the iron deficiency anemia because obviously the, the number of transparent molecules which are occupying the iron that is become very less. And also there would be decrease in the, the serum iron because it's the iron deficiency anemia. So now you understand that the concept that why the TIBC is increasing in the iron deficiency anemia. And compared to that in anemia of chronic disease, which is nowadays called anemia of chronic inflammation, anemia of inflammation, usually the TIBC is low or normal. The concept is very simple, as I mentioned. In state of iron deficiency anemia, our body has enough iron, but body has no access to you, is to use it properly for the iron. So obviously the transparent molecule, they would not be increased in the state of anemia of chronic disease. And that's why they would be remaining normal or decreased depending on the iron state. The, the simple concept is that, that if you have less iron in the body, transparent would increase. They're inversely proportional. If you have more amount of iron, the transparent would be decreasing. So what I basically explained in this session, my basic aim was to explain the concept of TIBC, which many people fumble to understand. TIBC simply means total iron binding capacity. The full name is total iron binding capacity of transparent. It means that with the available number of transparent molecules in your body, how many maximum amount of iron could be found? That is the TIBC. It's just like a hotel. If I ask you that this hotel has 50 rooms and each room there two person can stay, how many maximum number of people can stay in the hotel? That is 50 into 200. When I talk about serum iron, you can compare, you can go back to that analytics, just like how many people are right now staying in the hotel. That is 15 rooms are occupied and each room there are two people. So 15 into 230. And transparent saturation means that how many seats are saturated, how many seats are used in the total. So that is 30 people are there, maximum people can stay 100. So 30 into 100 into 100 is equal to 7, 30%. Another term is that is called UIBC, unsaturated iron binding capacity. Unsaturated iron binding capacity is equal to TIBC minus serum iron. That means how many more people can stay in that hotel or how many more amount of iron could be still bound with the transparent molecules which are available in your body. This is the idea of the TIBC. And TIBC, as I mentioned you, as the transparent molecules increase in the iron deficiency anemia, because there is an inversely proportional relationship between serum iron and the transparent. So when the serum iron is a low transparent increase, so obviously when the transparent increase, the total iron binding capacity would also increase. That means there are more number of transparent molecules available which can bound more amount of iron in the body. And this typically happens in the iron deficiency anemia. So that's all for this. 94th edition of the Insta lecture where I tried to simplify a few concepts on the TIBC and its relation with UIBC, serum iron, and the transparent saturation. Thank you very much for listening to this session.